This is something I made my girlfriend for Valentine's Day. Basically, it's a box that counts up how much time we've been together in various units. You can see down here, it shows in seconds how long we've been together. If I rotate this knob, which is attached to a rotary encoder, it'll change to minutes, hours, and days, months and days, and also tell you the time and the date. If you push the button on the knob, a backlight comes on, but it's really hard to see with the camera, so I'll leave it off. Now, if you want to adjust the time, you can hold down the button for four seconds until there's a little cursor that shows up, and you can twiddle it. Might be hard to see, you can see here. So if I rotate the knob, I can change the hour. Hold down the button, I can change the minute. Hold it down again, it'll set the time there. And same thing with the date. If I want to change the date, I can hold down the button. The cursor will show up. I can adjust the date there. Change the days the year, and then it just locks in the date. That's about it. The body is laser cut. This is just laser etched. And the back just has our initials and our anniversary date. It's just powered by USB. Inside of here is actually an Arduino Nano, and I'll be showing you that in a second. I designed this thing such that you can take it apart if you need to change the battery that's inside. And the battery is used for the real-time clock to keep the time in case the unit's unplugged. So, the idea is you just pull on the rotary encoder part to take the circuit board out, uh, like so. And then that exposes the Arduino Nano, the battery, the real-time clock, a couple of resistors, a uh, crystal for the clock, um, as well as the rotary encoder. I made a little custom board for that just to clean it up a bit so that the resistors are all together. And it really helped for prototyping. And then on the inside here, you see this is the back of the LCD screen. It has a serial backpack on it there that I use to communicate with it just to use a lot less wires and just simplify things. As you can see, the power is just gotten from a USB cord directly into the Arduino Nano. It just makes it a lot easier. Uh, and there you have it.